Hello, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I had a, saw a question in a forum the other day about having a uh, event or macro fired uh, when there is a uh, mouse rollover over a specific shape. And while we can do this uh, for ActiveX, over a shape it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, here's a solution I came up with, and thank you very much, Dan, over at Excel VBA. It's fun. Uh, you helped me a lot with this. And I'll include a link to uh, his video as well on this. Uh, so we do, of course, have a um, on hover. We have for sure insert comment for a specific cell, of course, and uh, we can see that in, see that here just by doing this. So when we hover over a specific cell, of course, we have that. However, in this particular case, we are not going to do that. We want to actually enter a shape. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have a shape, and we'll go ahead and create a rounded rectangle button here, and um, for our purposes, we'll just call this test. And uh, well, basically, what we want to do is we just want when we roll over it, we want you know some sort of a help pop up here. So uh, what we'll do is we'll create a, a shape for our help, and uh, we'll call use a call out. And uh, let's go ahead and say maybe you want your users to uh, see uh, this particular help when they hover over the button. So we'll call it help text here, and we can give it a different color so it's differentiated. And so basically, we want this shape to only appear when the on mouse hover over. And of course, we can assign any macro to a shape simply by clicking here and assigning a macro. Uh, right now, we don't have any macros, so let's go ahead and, and create one. We'll use Alt 11, go into the VBA mode, and I've created the module here and the test button. We can use that macro there. And so we'll just say, uh, create a little message box there. So now when we assign a, a macro to this, on right click, uh, we can uh, simply just click it and then select test button. And when we click it, uh, obviously we get the pop-up of the test. Okay, but now how do we, But so that's for the macro, but now how do we get this to appear? Well, in Excel, we do we do have the ability to use an ActiveX component, and we'll use a text box as uh, Dan uh, so eloquently displayed an ActiveX text. And what we can do is we can create an event specifically for this, and we won't need a label on that. So here we have properties. We'll just go ahead and, and remove the label here. And so to create an event, we just uh, we'll go ahead and double click that. And that'll get us to the VBA. And we don't want to use click, we want to use mouse over. So we're going to mouse move, excuse me. So here, mouse move, that will tell us uh, specifically. And we created, and on this shape, let's go ahead and call this help. So let's change that shape name to help. Okay. So now when we go into VBA, we're in sheet one. We can go into shapes, and we're going to use that specific shape that we just called help. And then what are we going to want it to do? On this particular one, Let's uh, give it the visibility of false, okay? So that means uh, on mouse over of this particular shape, we want it gone, actually. So that means when we hover over this, we out of design mode, and we hover over this, that shape will be gone. Okay, well, that's great. Um, but how do we get it to reappear? So let's just duplicate this, Control-D. We'll duplicate this. So now we have two shapes, and let's color them differently so that we can differentiate between the two of them. Uh, we have this one here, and then we'll go to the background, and uh, we will also color this one a little bit differently so we can see our two different shapes. Okay, so now we have two different two different labels here, and uh, we're going to double click this one, and basically we are going to say uh, on this particular one, on label two, on mouse over we want it on mouse move we want it to become visible. So we're going to do equals MSO true. So basically one will show, one will appear and one will disappear. So out of design mode, we have this one to appear and this one to disappear. Appear and disappear. You see how we're hovering over these two? and We have that action. So we can close the properties now. And now all we have to do is go back in design mode and position these over. So once again, appear, disappear. So what we want to do is when we hover over this button, we want it to appear. So let's go ahead and make this the same size as the button. Okay. 
and then what we want to do is we want to move this to the background okay so we'll go ahead and order and then send it send it to the back okay so now we have a bad back of button so now out of design mode we can see also again as we hover over the button it appears okay now all we have to do is create a little bit larger which we did already a little bit larger of the active X label here and we just put it right over it so that there's a border let's make it a little bit bigger okay so that's a little bit bigger and so now if we surround that okay and then we move this one to the back okay and then send to the back so now we get after out of design mode so now we get that feeling of hover over back out back out and so we can center that just a little bit more right about there so basically now we have the now we have the the function we're looking for but we don't we don't want these ugly the ugly things so let's go ahead and um, position these just how we want them okay perfect and now what we'll do is we'll change the background colors but before that um, we will go back into the properties view and we'll get rid of these so we just have to go back and change these to transparent and then on this one also transparent okay border style and then we have back style and then we'll just change that to transparent now they're both gone and now we have the functionality that we're looking for hover over there out of design mode hover over there help text out Uh, okay, so now we have, but now the last thing is we want to be able to move this button. If we move this button, right, everything else is going to be, so all we have to do is group them together. Okay, so we'll go to select and find, and then we're going to go selection pane, and then we're going to go back into design mode because we want to edit those as well, and back into design mode, and then basically what we want to do is we want to hold our control button down, select, select, select select okay so now we have all of our items selected and we're just going to go into format and we're going to group and we're going to create a group okay so now we have a group now we can move this group anywhere we want to and we're going to get that out of once again we go back out of design mode and we still have the functionality that we want everywhere it's not quite it, we would I would probably make those a little bit bigger but you get the idea so there we go now we got now we got our our functionality that we want on our hover. Thank you very much for watching this video.